With recent incidents like that, some families may be looking for ways to prevent their kids from walking down the wrong road. Local 5's Larissa Leone is on your side, speaking with a number of organizations on ways to help young people. With the shootings that have taken place in Des Moines involving teenagers, local organizations tell me what it takes to keep kids away from violence. People, places, and programs, that's what it's all about. Having great adults working with young people, having programming, structure, things to do, um, and places like this. Al Perez is the director of Family and Students at the Salvation Army. He says he's working on programs to help kids have a safe space to hang out during late hours of the evening as well as the day. He believes it's imperative that kids have mentors outside of school in home. It's just really having genuine relationships. I think our kids need that. Many of them are lacking it. Um, I be it from home, they don't feel maybe perhaps at school they're loved by their uh, teachers or administrators or they just don't feel like someone really cares about what they're walking through. Leader of Youthful Generations mentor Shamika Hartson says as a mother and as a mentor, she's seen different angles of violence and other struggles kids have. But she says the work isn't always on the kids, as parents need help too. I encourage them to volunteer. I mean, um, that's actually the strongest advice I can give because if the parents are being involved in their after school mentoring program or any other program, it shows the kids that we're working together and it just shows that we can do this as a community. Lance Williams is the founder of Dads on a Mission, an organization that works with at-risk youth. He says replacing guns and violence with something positive is effective. If you give them something to replace the guns, they'll willingly put them down themselves. Like, teach them how to build things. Teach them how to su supplement an income for themselves. Teach them how to feed themselves. You know what I'm saying? The gums are basically just a cry for help. Well, that was Larissa Leone reporting. All three organizations are collaborating on their missions to provide people, places, and programs to be the change they hope to see, as sharing how their own youth experience leads them to help kids today.